Hello there! In this video, we demonstrate how to write Python code on ERT3 Plus and write basic read-write programs to communicate with the I.O. modules. Once you are familiar with these basics, you will be able to communicate with any I.O. device connected to the base module. Additionally, running Python codes enables you to develop and implement AI algorithms on ERT3 Plus for creating smart solutions. This opens up a wide range of possibilities in the realm of industrial automation. In this video, we show you how to write two programs. The first one reads data from the digital input module and the second one writes data to the digital output module. We then verify the output of the programs on the web maintenance tool. We will also verify the same on the I.O. modules physically connected to the setup. To learn more about the web maintenance tool, refer to the video enabling remote access to ERT3+. To execute a Python program on ERT3+, first, we modify the settings in the I.O. configuration file according to the modules connected in our setup. Then, we restart the I.O. configuration service for the settings to take effect. Next, we create a program to read a relay from the digital input module and then transfer it to the ERT3 Plus device. After transferring the program file, we will execute the program and verify the results. Similarly, we create a program to write a relay to the digital output module, transfer it to the ERT3 Plus and then execute it to verify the results. You can automatically configure the features of a module by using the I.O. module configuration service. This service uses a settings file which you can modify to configure the module. Hence you need not write programs for configuring modules and instead you can focus on creating programs dedicated to data processing. The module configuration service is provided as a daemon managed by systemd. SystemD is a utility platform for daemon management designed for Linux. Using the systemctl command, you can configure services to start or stop and whether they should be run automatically on startup. In our setup, we have connected a power supply, the ERT3 Plus device, a digital input module and a digital output module. Therefore, we must modify the I.O. configuration settings file accordingly. Log in to ERT3 Plus using PuTTY. Navigate to the directory containing the I.O. configuration settings file by using the cd command. Open the configuration file in sudo mode to edit the module settings. Here you can see that the configuration of each I.O. module is specified in the standard JSON format. The configuration settings for the digital input module is specified in the first object. The configuration settings for the digital output module is specified in the second object. If you have additional modules in your setup, you can define their configuration in the subsequent objects. In each object, we define the details of the module such as the unit, slot number and mod ID. Unit indicates the unit position. Since we have only one unit, the value is set to 0. Slot indicates the slot position of the module. In our setup, the power module is in slot position 0, the CPU module is in slot position 1, the digital input module is in slot position 2, and the digital output module is in slot position 3. As you can see, we have set the value 0 for the unit position for both the digital input and the digital output modules. The slot position for the digital input module is defined as 2 and for the digital output module it is defined as 3. Mod ID is the identification for the module type. The mod ID of each module can be found on the hardware unit for reference. Since we have connected only the digital input module and the digital output module, let's delete the remaining settings. Once the settings are configured, save the file and exit.
In order to reflect the saved settings, enable the service by running the following command. These settings will be retained even after you reboot ERT3+. Start the service and then check the status of the service. If the service is already running, you must use the restart command. Here we can see that the status is active. Let us start by writing a Python program to read a value from the digital input module. Open a text file in an editor and save the file with the Python file extension. The objective of this program is to communicate with M3IO by using Python code. The libm 3 shared object is available by default in ERT3+. This shared object contains APIs that enable communication with M3IO. To use the shared object, we must first import the ctypes library. Then, we create a Python variable to use the libm 3 shared object or libm 3 so Now that we have imported the library, we will define the unit and slot of the module we want to communicate with. Since we have only one unit, the unit position is set to 0. The digital input module is connected to slot position 2. Now, we will define the position of the relay whose value we want to read. Let us read the relay 17. Next, we will create an array C underscore data to store the data which is read. After this, we call the function to read the data from the relay. This API writes the value read from the specified unit, slot and position into the array C underscore data. Finally, we print the value written in C underscore data. Save the file and then transfer it to the ERT3 plus device and execute the program. To test the program, we will modify the values of the relay by using the switch attached to the digital input module and then use the program to read the value. Start WinSCP. On the left pane, select New Site. In the host name box, specify the IP address of the ERT3 Plus device. Specify the username and password. Click Login. Create a new directory in the ERT3 Plus for the program files. Copy the Python program to the ERT3 Plus device. In the PuTTY terminal, navigate to the program file location and then type Python3 followed by the file name of the Python code to execute the program. The value returned is 0, indicating that the relay is switched off. The same can be seen in the web maintenance tool. Now we will turn on the relay by using the switch on the digital input module and execute the code again. Now the value returned is 1, indicating that the relay is switched on. As you can see, the program is working. We can also verify the status on the web maintenance tool. Here, you can see that the position 17 has been switched on. This means the program is successful. In the second program, we write a value to the digital output module. To create the program file and import the libm3 shared object, we follow the same steps as before. So, we create a Python file to write the program. Then import the libm 3 so to communicate with M3IO. Then, we define the unit and slot positions similar to how we define them for the read program. Define the position of the relay to which we want to write. Now we will specify the value you want to write to the relay. 0 or 1. 0 indicates off and 1 indicates on. Let us write 1. Finally, we call the function to write the value to the relay. This API writes the specified value to the specified relay of the digital output module. This completes the program. Save the file and exit.
Now we will transfer the file to ERT3 Plus by using WinSCP and execute the program. Since we are writing to the 16th position, let us first look at the status of position 16 on the web maintenance tool. On the web maintenance tool, we can see that the position 16 is off. Now we will run the program to turn it on. In the PuTTY terminal, navigate to the program file location and then type python3 followed by the file name of the python code to execute the program. This time, when we check the web maintenance tool, we can see that the position 16 is on. This means that our program is successful. Similarly, we can write to other relay positions and verify the output on the web maintenance tool. This concludes the demonstration for writing and executing basic read-write programs on ERT3+. As ERT3 Plus is a versatile device capable of transmitting data as well as running Python programs, you can work towards developing and executing highly complex AI algorithms on ERT3 Plus to create smart solutions to suit your business needs.